Oh, he's putting this we made we made party troopers. This is very exciting. I'm so yeah. excited about this. We've been working on this for weeks. Yeah. This is possibly the most work we've ever put into something on this mm -hmm. show. And I think you'll see why in a second. Yeah. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> so uh, the fine folks at Bluefin. Bluefin is a company that distributes Bandai model kits here in the States. Uh, if you are unfamiliar with these, they are snap together kits. They're pretty easy. You have to cut the pieces off like a model kit, but they all come pre-colored mm -hmm. and they snap together. You don't need glue. You don't need paint. That's kind of the, the cell. They're basically Gundam models. Yeah, we've talked um, about these on the show before. I've built uh, the C-3PO. I've built uh, the X-Wings. you built Slave 1. You've oh, built yeah. I've yeah, got, Boba Fett. I've got a Boba Fett right here. Yeah. We'll talk about him in and a so second. And they, so they will um, like give you a genuine appreciation for yeah. how action figures are built. And they're to scale with pretty much uh, most 6-inch scale toys. Right. So they're I feel like there's a little one taller. 1 scale. And yeah. anyway, if you build a Stormtrooper out of the box... He looks like a stormtrooper. It's yeah. all normally colored. It makes sense. There's some stickers on there. Uh, this is Boba Fett. is completely unpainted. It's what it looks like out of the box. But if you want to go a step further, you can have a lot of fun with these guys. And we decided to make custom troopers that we're we both did. very proud of. And we they fit did. our personalities. They totally do. So uh, Max made his Hawaiian luau party shirt. It's custom literally trooper. based on the shirt that I'm wearing right now. Yep, As you can see, he's fantastic. Uh, he's got his little drink, which I stole from another Star Wars figure. But he's like, hey, how's it going? What's going on, man? What are you doing? You want to hang out? Go shoot some stuff out? Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> I basically made mine look like uh, like a New York City graffiti wall or a, uh, a, you know, a dive bar bathroom wall that has just been tagged up to hell. Uh, and the way we did that was we used a, a sort of a series of, of different, of, like, artistic tools that we yeah. got to reach into. Um, Max got me these awesome things. They are, they are paint markers. So basically, these are, they're yeah. paint pens, basically. And you shake them, and they rattle like almost like spray cans. I've got and bad news. You probably have some undiscovered like lung disease from, oh, from definitely. the paint fumes. Yeah, but definitely. these are very cheap paint markers for yeah. hobby stuff. So, I think this was like... A box of these was this was like twenty bucks on Amazon. I had a uh, like this this Disney this Disney AT AT, and I basically took it apart and started painting on it and did some tests on it to be like sort of how do I want this to look? Um, so I did some tagging on it effectively, and you know, came up with uh, some rules. And for I think for art and for painting, you have to say these are the rules in which I'm going to do this. This is how I create a pattern. So for mine, my theory was outline basically everything in black to almost give it like a poppy cell shaded look. And then from there, fill it everything in with tags. And Max did a really cool thing. He he took the 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 basically the trays, the kits out and sprayed them down yeah, like before, when you get... before they were even uh, built. I went a little bit further. When you get the you, know, you get the kits, obviously it's, it's if you ever built a model kit, you're familiar with this. They come they all come on, you know, on pieces like that. You want to hand me the uh, the little tool set there? Of course. You can get, if you want to get into model making, it's wonderfully easy thanks to like you know, weird Chinese companies on Amazon. You can get like a good pair of, of clippers, nippers, uh, hobby shears um, for like eight bucks, something like that. Uh, this kit I believe comes with a little marker for doing lines. Uh, Knife for cutting pieces off and a file for sanding things down so they all fit together nicely. Uh, this used to be like such a it used to be such a pain to do hobby stuff because if you lived in a small town or whatever and you had to go to like the one local hobby shop, which obviously small businesses are great, but I don't know if you're trying to you know get a pair of snippers on the on the cheap, it sucks if you're 15. Mm -hmm. Speaking from experience, um, but yeah, I just basically I got some spray paint, I dusted uh, a little bit of gray across the the white parts, and then I put black over the black part so it looks a little bit. A little bit less plasticky. Yep. Uh, for mine, I went completely bonkers. I have an airbrush at home, and I basically uh, I did the whole thing, the whole thing pink. I did all the all the white pieces pink by themselves, and then I went over and I cut like a little tiny stencil of palm leaves, just using a razor and a piece of plastic, like it was a piece of you know garbage, like a like a salad container or something. And I just cut out little palm tree leaves, and then I went through and just airbrushed those on there, and then made little dots of red, which looked actually like really disgusting chicken pox at first. Mm -hmm. And then I added uh, the yellow dots to make it look like my shirt. Yeah. Who wore it better? Which is just Me or awesome. the trooper. Um, I got the pink kind of wrong, but otherwise I think I did a pretty good job. And so mine took a really long time because these, see him. He these blends in perfectly. paint yeah. pens are pretty much uncontrollable in terms of how thick or thin they grow. Uh, sometimes they will drop out just a huge dollop of paint, and sometimes they will uh, look very scratchy. So I had to build this in layers. So basically I used the kit that Max had sprayed down. I built it, obviously, which is really fun to do because yeah. they're, it's all, it's, they're, it's, they're all snapped together. You don't need any glue or anything like it's that. It's slightly harder than a Lego set. You know? Yeah. Uh, it's and then so from there I... 
I, d I did outlines and I added all the black and then I added red and then I did black over that because the way like graffiti walls are is no one really follows the rules. Everybody's just sort of tagging over each other. And so, yeah, it's hard to get a really good look mm -hmm. at these, but uh, we'll put up some close-up shots and yeah. stuff like that and, on, uh, our, on our Instagrams and on our Twitters. These uh, these kits were at one point really hard to get, but because Bluefin is importing them, they're now like super cheap in the States. Uh, this is currently, I think, just under 20 bucks on Amazon. Uh, they have a bunch of other ones. Again, here's the, here's the Boba Fett, which if you don't want to paint anything, just do stickers and just have mm -hmm. a cool toy in your desk. Oh, and yeah, they're they're totally articulated too. They're basically action figures. Yeah, honestly, uh, like you can buy a uh, you know a, a Star Wars a Star Wars Black Series uh, twenty dollar Stormtrooper. They're not as articulate as these are, and these are more fun to build, and yeah, you don't feel bad about painting them. them you know? um, yeah, and then yeah, the paint markers twenty bucks, a uh, little you know hobby kit, it's like ten twelve bucks. So yeah. if you're looking for something to do on a weekend that won't cost quite as much as a AAA video game, that's a great place to start. And you know. Get, get creative. Get I'm, very, I'm very proud of these. These yeah, are really cool. I'm, I'm happy with them. They're fun. Yeah. Hey, everybody. If you enjoyed learning about our fun little model kits, you should check out some cool Power Rangers Megazords we made. I shouldn't have painted those. They turned out very sticky. And if you want to see a Lego thing made out of Star Wars stuff, check out the Cloud City that's $350. It's insane. We had fun with that. And watch more IGN videos, please. Manja. It's Italian. <laughs> Where's that ghost? I don't know, right here. In, I all was right. inside you all along. All right.